Huff a day. I'm Peter Duenas, corporate chef and owner of Mescla Restaurants. Join me in my quest for culinary inspiration and some of the best flavors around. This is my food obsession. Bags are packed, got my fishing poles, and I'm looking forward to another wonderful adventure in Alaska. So I just landed here in Yakutat, Alaska, and we're here to do some salmon fishing and hopefully catch some halibut while we're at it. Um, I'm also hoping to check out the food scene here in the small town of Alaska. Population 400, maybe 600, give or take, during certain times of the year. But um, I'm excited. It's nice and cold, but it's sunny and looking to have some fun. So come with us and let's check it out. We just made it to camp. We're at Ryman's on the beach. It's a beautiful, cozy cottage set up right on the water. It's owned by Skip and Rosemary Ryman. And we've actually stayed here before and we're here again as guests. Take a look at that. We are footsteps away from the ocean. We're excited to be here and we're ready to fish. Today, we're headed for the Lost River, a place where the locals say you could stick your toe in and a salmon would bite. And after a couple of casts, we knew that the salmon run was in full swing. Gotta fight. Gotta fight in him. <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> Come on now. Alaska fishing regulations state that each individual with a valid Alaska fishing license may be in the possession of two salmon per day. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't fit in the net, dude. We had so much fun and didn't realize how quick it would be to reach our limits. Monica's got a giant one on. Oh, that's a nice one. You, that's a nice silver. Oh yeah, slowly, slowly. Yeah. Walk back, walk back. Good job, honey. my first one. Had your first salmon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi. All right. You catching some coho salmon? We had a good fishing trip today at the Lost River. Here we've got four sockeye salmon and two large coho salmon. So the folks here say that once they go upstream to spawn, they don't bite anything. And what do you know? We had four bites. These are nice sockeye salmon. As you can see, they're very sleek. And they're a lot smaller than the silver salmon. These are the most prized fish here in uh, Alaska. It's either the sockeye or the king salmon or the chinook. So I think we're very fortunate to have caught four today. Look how red that meat is in this sockeye. Be great for sashimi. Got some salmon collars and some salmon bellies that we just got from the fish we caught today and we cleaned them all up and we brine these for about 30 minutes in just a basic salt brine and we're gonna do some Alaskan smoked salmon collars and bellies and we're gonna use alder wood which is a wood that's been used here for decades by the uh, natives to smoke their salmon. Okay, we'll close it up. And let's... That's protecting bears. Bear proof. Yeah. It's bear proof, I hope. 
They've been using this smoker for years. Our friends uh, Skip and Rosemary, uh, we've we've uh, used this smoker before, and it's great for smoking salmon and all kinds of stuff. So, and in about six hours, we're gonna have the most delicious smoked salmon collars and bellies. Can't wait. So we got our smoked salmon out of the smoker, smoker and um, the weather changed on us dramatically, but we managed to get a beautiful smoked salmon. As a matter of fact, Pat and I, we were eating it out of the smoker when no one was looking. <laughs> and see, that's just one of the joys of fishing. You could turn around and turn it into something incredible. Got some beautiful smoked salmon collars and wings. I mean, it's so tasty and it's fresh. We're taking this back to Guam, baby. We have some nice snacks later on. Tonight, we're here at the Glacier Bear Lodge. After a long day of fishing, we decided to come and check out what kind of goodies they have on the menu. Reindeer sausage. Do you have any in? We usually have it on the menu, but it's this late in the season and we don't actually have it right now. Oh man, we came in too late. They're out of reindeer sausage. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to order some of your calamari fingers. Sure. Gotta try the halibut tacos. Okay. Is that good? It's good. That's what I usually get. What, what's the history on this place? Uh, the Glacier Bear Lodge was uh, originally a logging camp uh, built oh, wow. in the early 70s by Doug and Diane Ross of RBK Logging. Uh, and then when the, uh, when the logging petered out a bit, it, it, uh, they converted it into a lodge. So this is uh, actually, it's got a restaurant in here. There's an area for a lounge. They've got rooms here. And folks can expect to come here and and uh, book a room, and do they do any fishing tours, or is it just lodging? The, the lodge has a guide associated with it, a river guide. And you do sports fishing packages as well, too, huh? I manage a small business started by my father in 1960, which is a, uh, a cabin at the confluence of three major salmon rivers. You have to fly in there, though, huh? It's about 35 miles by air taxi, uh, bush uh, plane. You land on a small bush, uh, bush strip, take a four-wheeler about two miles to the cabin. Wow. And, uh, That's an adventure in itself. It certainly can be. <laughs> if any of our viewers want to come fly to Yakutat and check out your um, Italio cabin, what, what are, how do they get in touch with you? Do you have a website? or? We do have a website. It's... Uh, it's the Italia River Lodge, uh, www.yakatatalia River Lodge. Well, I'm here in the kitchen with Chef Adriana, who's preparing some Alaskan specials with her own special twist. And I hear you're from Mexico? Yeah. She's Mexican and she's yeah. in Alaska. What'd you, how'd you end up here in Alaska? Um, just came for a new job opportunity. That's awesome. Summer break. Oh, damn, 13 years later, what happened? <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. That's how you do the salmon? Yep, so take the skin off after you cook it. That salmon trick, that's awesome. You know, in Guam, we don't do that very often because we love our salmon skin. So we just cook it so the, the fish Moist, yeah. If you're like my wife, who doesn't like to eat the skin, it's perfect. Nice pesto pasta with seafood. We're in Alaska, so we've got to have the finest seafood, right? Yep. That's Halibut, salmon. Salmon, scallops, and shrimp. Awesome. And here are just garlic and butter. And we're gonna do butter noodles for the salmon. That's a beer battered halibut. Yes. 
Alex, uh, Alex Austin, yeah. Look at that succulent halibut. I might have to eat that. Oh, that halibut is so fresh. They make the beer better? Yes. Damn. Do you use Alaskan beer? Yes, of course. Alaskan beer better. Dang, we're in the right spot. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Jeff, thank you for having us in here. We're looking forward. We're going to get down with this Thanks food. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Let's go. Mmm. I am smacking because this salmon is delicious and juicy, and I'm trying to prevent my saliva from coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Sorry. And when we come to Alaska, you're talking fresh, like literally minutes from the water, and you're eating the best salmon in the world. Oh, the chef's here. How is it? Mm. Chef Adriana. Yeah. Yes, Incredible. thank you so much. Everything is just right on point. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I gotta have some of this halibut. Oh, it's so good. Halibut nuggets again, because there's some rice on here, guys. Anybody want rice? No. I'm you good. sure? Okay. Now he's really gonna eat. That was just tasting. <laughs> <laughs> So we're back from Yakutat, Alaska. And oh, let me tell you, we had a ball catching all those salmon. We had some great food. I'm here with my sous chef, Darren Ariola. He's gonna be assisting me today with two wonderful dishes. Half day. And uh, we're gonna start off with a candied salmon with a scallion coconut rice. We're gonna finish that with some sauteed bok choy and some sauteed cherry tomatoes. We're also gonna feature calamari fries with a spicy basil aioli. What do you say we get started? Let's do this. First thing, I'm gonna add about a half a cup of brown sugar, about a third of a cup of soy sauce. Now you want the marinade to be nice and sweet. Throw in some dried local chilies, just to give a little spice. Some garlic and some freshly chopped cilantro. We're gonna whisk all that together until the sugar is incorporated. And you want it to have a sweet but well balanced with the soy sauce. This actually serves as a cure for the salmon. Two nice six ounce salmon fillets in there. And you really just want to submerse it in the marinade and allow it to, to cure for at least four to six hours to get a, the marinade to penetrate through the salmon. So while that is marinating, we're gonna work on our calamari fries and our aioli, and we'll come back to the grilling part of the salmon. We have some calamari steaks that we've cut into strips, and why I call it fries is because they pretty much the same size as your typical French fries. Uh, we're gonna do a three-step process with a calamari. First, we're gonna season them. We're gonna go into flour, egg wash, and then panko breadcrumbs. So what we wanna do is add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Darwin, if you can uh, massage that and go through the process. Calamari tends to be a little bland when you're looking at thick pieces. And um, so you wanna just get a nice little seasoning on it before you do this process. So we get a little flour and we'll go into the egg wash and then we're gonna do a panko breadcrumb coating. So while Darren is finishing up breading our calamari, I'm gonna go ahead and start the sauce that we're gonna serve it with. Okay, so we're gonna add about a half a cup of mayonnaise. Got some fresh basil that I'm gonna chop up here. And 
these all. I'm gonna add some fresh lemon juice. You wanna have some nice zing in this. And then of course, my favorite, some freshly chopped local peppers. The spicier you like it, obviously you gotta add more pepper. This is kinda like a fancy tartar sauce. It's gonna go really nicely with the calamari. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of water just to get it a little looser so it can use as a drizzle. Give that a quick taste. Mmm, nice. Ooh, it's got that nice spice. We'll set that aside. And we'll get our salmon grilling. So we got our salmon now, and Chef Darwin here is gonna grill off our, our candied salmon. So while Chef Darwin is grilling off our salmon, I'll go ahead and get started on our scallion coconut rice. So we're gonna start off with some coconut milk. I have some green onion puree. It's really nice and green. Season this with some salt. We're gonna add in our rice. And just allow the coconut to cook into the rice. I'm also gonna saute some baby bok choy and some cherry tomatoes to accompany the salmon. Get a nice hot pan. We add some garlic. We'll throw in our vegetables. We season it with some salt and pepper. Really just want to wilt it. Allow the tomatoes to slightly cook. Want it nice and crunchy. Check our rice. It's really nice, so that's just about done. We'll go check on our salmon. It's coming along nicely. Oh, wow, look at that. That is beautiful. So Chef Darwin, we'll go ahead and fry our calamari fries. Want it nice and golden. Just about there. Really takes but about a minute. Calamari's done, salmon's done. Let's start plating. So we'll start with plating our calamari. Start off with a little bit of cabbage grass. And then what I like to do is just make a nice structure with the calamari so it's a little more playful. Hopefully it doesn't collapse on me while I'm plating it. <laughs> it's almost like assembling Jenga. And of course we have our spicy aioli with some basil. And what I like to do is just drizzle it over the top. And I've got our house secret rub that I wanna sprinkle over the top to give a little more flavor. And then Garnish that with a little bit of green onion curls. Now we're gonna plate up our salmon. Got our scallion coconut rice. Got our sauteed bok choy and cherry tomatoes. Tomatoes there. It's nice salmon. I've got a little bit of the marinade that I've reduced down a little bit just to create a glaze and we'll just drizzle that around the plate. And we'll just garnish that with some fresh cilantro. So there you have it, our two dishes, candied salmon with a scallion coconut rice, some wilted bok choy and some cherry tomatoes, a little bit of the glaze, the candy glaze. Our second dish, calamari fries with a spicy basil aioli. 
Thank you, Chef Darren. Bob and Chef. Thank you for watching another episode of Food Obsession. Come on into Mescla and give these two specials a try. The seven. French fries, you eat it with your hand. I'm gonna try some of that. Mmm. Jenga. Oh, yeah. This is good.